Welcome to the realm of astrology. This is your daily horoscope for 26th May 2021, which is a Wednesday. Today is a full moon total lunar eclipse. So it's a big, big, big deal. We're going to talk about that in detail. But before that, do hit the subscribe button. All right. So the chart is open, as you can see, to the eclipse. So what is an eclipse? What is a full moon lunar eclipse? A full moon is when the, the sun and the moon are in opposition. They're opposing each other, making a 180 degree angle. You can see this on the chart. The moon is here and the sun is here. They're opposing each other. And what makes this an eclipse? They are next to the nodes. So then it's an eclipse. And eclipses are extremely powerful. Typically, a full moon in itself is extremely powerful. But when it's next to the nodes, the energy stays with us for a long, long time. So the energy of this eclipse will stay with us for a long time. Six months at least, but even longer. So that's the first thing. Now, what do full moons bring? Full moons are typically completion points. They are ending. It's the brightest night of the month so we can start to see things clearly on this night but let's talk about what an eclipse is before we move on an eclipse is something that speeds up, up events so supposing there's something waiting to happen in your life and it hasn't happened an eclipse can make it happen eclipses are also karmic events they are fated events they are destined events eclipses also can bring you information they can bring you downloads so to speak and a full moon lunar eclipse is typically all about release. It's about endings. It's about culmination points. It's about a lot of emotional release. All right. And eclipse energies stay with us. It's not like, you know, the month will get over as it is with a full moon eclipse, a uh, full moon, typical full moon, that the month will get over and will be done with it no eclipses will stay with us so this energy that you're feeling today will stay with us it is going to change something in your life it is going to bring you some piece of information it is going to speed things up it is going to bring karmic destined events now on eclipse it does become important to not react immediately take time out to think take time out to process what's happened the information you've received and then act on it all right so that's important now, I do want to mention that the signs that will be most affected by this eclipse will be the sign of Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, and Pisces. And also, if you know your chart and you know that you have personal planets in these signs, then you will be very affected by this eclipse. And before we move on to dissecting the chart for this eclipse, I want to mention that Mars today, yesterday actually, it did hit 20 degrees. Now we had an eclipse in Jan of 2020 at this Capricorn Cancer axis. And why this is significant is because that energy has been with us since then. It has been with us since Jan of 2020. And today as Mars covers this spot, the eclipse spot, we are releasing that old eclipse energy. And in the past month, we have released about three eclipse energies. First one we released on April 23rd. This was an eclipse that happened last year in June. Then there was another eclipse we released, I believe on May 10th. And that was an eclipse that happened in July of 2019. And now we are releasing the third eclipse that happened in Jan of 2020. So a lot of energy is being released. And this is important because as we release energy, as we release subconscious energy, we may feel tired, we may feel fatigued physically because energy release can do that to us. So that's important. And as we release the old eclipse energy, we are getting ready to imbibe the new eclipse energy. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is that full moons are typically completion points and an eclipse is, this eclipse is a full moon lunar eclipse as you can see the moon and the sun are opposing each other right here at five degrees of the gemini sag axis now what do we complete with the full moon firstly we are completing something that we began with the new moon this month on may 11th there was a new moon in taurus and we started something new 
we started to sow the seeds something connected to our self-worth our values our finances and our skills and now we are seeing what we planted back then we are seeing clearly that thing has culminated enough for us to be visibly say hey yeah, this is what i seeded on the new moon so that's one thing we are completing the second thing we're completing is the more important thing in december december 14th we had a new moon solar eclipse and now we are completing that cycle we are completing that energy and that was a new beginning for us a completely new beginning because saturn and jupiter met up on december 21st in the month of december and with that new eclipse in the sign of sagittarius we began something new and now is the point where, where whatever started for us in december is closing out it's culminating we are seeing it more clearly we are feeling settled into it it's revealed itself completely so that's the second thing we're completing now let's look at the chart for this um, lunar eclipse and i do want to mention this is a total lunar eclipse so the energy is more magnified sometimes we have a partial lunar eclipse and it's not that intense you don't feel it that intensely but this one you'll feel intensely especially if you're a virgo pisces sagittarius and gemini and especially if you have personal planets but close to five degrees of gemini sagittarius virgo and pisces you'll feel it very intensely and now let's look at what aspects this eclipse is making the first one is that this as this eclipse is in a square to Jupiter. As you can see, Jupiter is making a 90 degree angle with the sun and the moon. Okay, Jupiter is squaring this energy. Now, what does this mean exactly? Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius, number one. Number two, when Jupiter touches any planet with an aspect, it expands it it magnifies it and in this case it's magnifying the eclipse energy even more so you'll feel it extremely intensely and i had mentioned in yesterday's video that this eclipse can make us feel um, the square to jupiter and the moon can make us feel a little less hopeful where we may need to adjust something to feel hopeful again and i would say something along the similar lines that yes the jupiter will expand the energy of the eclipse but we may need to work on our hope and optimism during this time period all right now the second aspect that this eclipse is making is not very intense because the orb orb is the degree difference between the aspects so it is making a close semi-sextile to Uranus. It's a seven degrees orb, I realize that, but we will feel the energy slightly. And what is this energy? This energy is that this eclipse can be extremely sudden, more sudden than a usual eclipse. So things may come to you out of nowhere, all right? And yeah. And if you want to know what this means for your sun sign and rising sign, do watch my weekly horoscope video because I break it down for each sign which part of your life will be affected most by this eclipse. So you can watch that. I'll put the link in the description box below. And just know that today is a very, 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 very intense energy. Eclipses do bring up karmic events. They do bring pieces of information. They do bring things to light. They speed up events. They are karmic points. And they also put you where you're meant to be. So don't be scared of it. Realize that wherever you're meant to be, it's going to put you there. Or it's going to help you put you there. And usually the Gemini, Sag, Axis, Sagittarius, let's, let's talk about Gemini and Sagittarius for a moment because the eclipse, as you know, is happening on the Gemini, Sag, Axis. The moon's in Sagittarius and the sun's in Gemini. Now, Sagittarius is the most hopeful sign. It is the most optimistic sign. It loves knowledge. It loves wisdom. It loves adventure. And Gemini is information. It's facts. It's logic. It's communication. It's our perception. It's our immediate environment. So these are the areas that will be most affected. And since the eclipse is in the sign of Sagittarius, 
the most hopeful sign, the most optimistic sign, Jupiter ruled sign. I believe this eclipse will bring good things. Okay? And it can be out of nowhere and it can feel quite sudden as eclipses do. And at this point today, we've released a lot of eclipse energy. We've released a lot of eclipse energies that have happened over the past two years almost. So now you can say it's the beginning of a new energy cycle especially since December, because before that, the eclipses were happening for about two years on the Cancer Capricorn axis. So that was a whole different energy. And slowly now the eclipses have moved on to the Gemini Sag axis since December, especially. And this is a very different energy, very, very different energy, more hopeful, more optimistic, more positive. So I'm going to leave it at that today because Everything else that I talk about will pale in comparison to what is happening today. The eclipse is the event of the day. And rest it out today. Take it easy and don't react to anything. Take a day to mull over if there is something that's happened in your life. And I do want to mention really quick that Venus is getting ready to square Neptune. Venus is here. And Neptune is here, they're going to make a 90 degree angle. This is not the easiest energy we will talk about this, but it's not we're not going to talk about it today. We'll talk about it later. So that's all I'll leave you with. Do hit the subscribe button. And there is another eclipse coming up on June 10th or June 11th, depending where you where you live. So we will talk about that as well. And eclipse, but before I end this, I do want to say eclipses. If you don't see an immediate change today or something happening today, within the next month, definitely, you'll start to feel that energy. And there's another eclipse on June 10th, June 11th, as I have just mentioned. And this period between eclipses from now to June 10th, June 11th is extremely karmic, is destined, is fated, is meant to happen. It's going to put you where you belong. And... This one, we are doing a lot of emotional release. One, because we've cleared out eclipses with Mars crossing over all those eclipse points. Two, because lunar eclipses typically are associated with a lot of emotional release. And release does not always feel easy. It feels difficult. So just be mindful of that. And a full moon in general does not feel easy as well because they're two opposing forces. Yes, you can see things clearly. Yes, it's a culmination point. Yes, things start to make more sense, but it feels difficult because the sun, your soul, your identity is in opposition with your emotional body as a tug of war. So do hit the subscribe button and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Watch my weekly horoscope if you want to know what the eclipse means for your particular rising or sun sign. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.